Hi, my name is Clem Neely, and I'm a fourth-year veterinary student at Kansas State University. Currently, I'm in southeast Kansas at my family's farm and commercial cow-calf operation. And today, I'm going to take a few minutes of your time to talk about the uses of ultrasound in veterinary practice. Ultrasound has been a very uh, intricate tool in veterinary practices for the last 25 to 30 years. It's been used in clinics primarily for the diagnosis of soft tissue pathologies. Also, in the beef cattle industry, it's been used to group together pens of cattle based on their ribeye size and intermuscular fat, as well as predict their terminal endpoint. But by far the biggest use in large animal is for reproduction management, which I'm going to talk to you about today. I'm at Galesburg, Kansas at SEK Genetics, owned and operated by Dr. Coover. It was here where I first started working for Dr. Coover that stimulated my interest in bovine reproduction. He extensively uses ultrasound in his embryo transfer practice. Ultrasound offers lots of advantages over hand palpation, including consistently identifying early pregnancies at 30 days of gestation, more precisely evaluating ovaries for pathology like luteal or follicular cysts, and fetal sexing. Dr. Coover has allowed us to look at some of his cows and look for normal pregnant versus non-pregnant uterine anatomy as well as ovarian anatomy. This cow is an embryo donor that is currently on schedule to come into estrus within the next week. She has been stimulated to superovulate through follicle stimulating hormone therapy. Now, the non-pregnant uterine body and horns are observed in cross-section on the screen. Next, the right ovary is visualized and it has two follicles which appear black or hypoechogenic on ultrasound. This is a yearling replacement heifer. She had been bred 35 days ago. Initially, the right ovary is observed. The round structure which is of mixed echogenicity on the top of the screen is a corpus luteum. Next, a pregnancy is observed in the right uterine horn. There is a round black hypoechogenic area, which is the allantoic fluid, and a hyperechoic conceptus is observed within. At SEK Genetics, we got to see the use of ultrasound in clinical practice using a stationary unit. BCF technology has the easy scan. It is a cordless ultrasound unit, thus offering advantages to the technician in terms of added mobility, as well as advantages to the client, as they will not need an external power source at their working facility. Also, they allow for the add-on use of a extender probe, thus not having to use your arm to palpate the cows, saving on wear and tear and future health problems. With that being said, I would appreciate your vote to win a BCF Easy Scan that I can use in clinical practice. And I'd also like to make a special acknowledgement to Dr. Coover at SEK Genetics for allowing me the use of his cows, as well as my dad, Mark Neely, for the use of his cows and his feed truck.